Good evening and salam ibu pertiwiku. We are now watching the world news on TV Sarawak. Philippines Foreign Minister today said it will not allow visits by the United Nations to investigate its bloody war on drugs. The United Nations Human Rights Council approved a resolution in July to compile a comprehensive report on President Rodrigo Duterte's three-year crackdown. At least 6,700 people have been killed during that period, and what police say were shootouts with dealers who resisted arrest. Human rights groups accuse police of systematic cover-ups and summary executions of anyone associated with drugs, which police reject. Asked in a television interview if UN investigators would be allowed to work in the Philippines, Foreign Secretary Teodoro Loxin said no, because they have already prejudged. President Duterte, however, has yet to say he would agree to an independent probe on Philippine soil should a request be made. Hong Kong activists today called off protests in remem remembrance of the September 11, 2001 attacks on the United States and denounced a Chinese state newspaper report that they were planning massive terror in the city. The Hong Kong edition of the China Daily said on its Facebook page that anti-government fanatics are planning massive terror attacks, including blowing up gas pipes in Hong Kong on September 11. Referring to the China Daily Post, one protester said they don't even need to do a fact check to know that it is fake news. In a statement, the protesters said all forms of protest in Hong Kong will be suspended on September 11 in solidarity against terrorism apart from potential singing and chanting. Thousands of Indonesians today prayed for rain in haze-hit towns on the islands of Sumatra and Borneo as forest fires rage at the height of the dry season. Fires have burned through parts of Sumatra and Borneo Island for more than a month, and the government has sent 9,000 military, police and disaster agency personnel to fight the flames. State Antara News Agency stated thousands of people in Pekanbaru, capital of Ria province in Sumatra, held Islamic prayers for rain outside the government, governor's office. Many of those taking part wore face masks to protect themselves from the smoke. Similar prayers were held in towns in Kalimantan, where air quality has been at unhealthy levels and schools have been forced to close. According to Bernama, mosques in Malaysia have also been encouraged to hold prayers for rain. Well, that's all the news updates for now. Stay tuned for more. I'm Razi Ahmad. Thanks for watching.